the topic for today is going to be equations of planes. And how it relates, how they relate to linear systems and matrices as we have seen during Tuesday's lecture. So let's start again with equations of planes. So remember, we've seen briefly that an equation for a plane is of the form AX plus BY plus CZ equals D, where A, B, C, and D are just numbers. Okay, and so this expresses the condition for a point at coordinates X, Y, Z to be in the plane. And so an equation of this form defines a plane. So let's see how that works again. So let's start with an example. Let's say that we want to find an equation for the plane through the origin with normal vector let's say vector n equals, let's say, the normal vector 1, 5, 10. Okay, so how do we find an equation of this plane? Well, remember that we can get that equation by thinking geometrically. So what's our thinking going to be? Well, so we have the x, y, z axis. And we have this vector n, 1, 5, 10. And it's supposed to be perpendicular to our plane. And our plane passes for the origin here. OK? So we want to think of a plane that's perpendicular to this vector. Well, when is a point in that plane? Let's say we have a point P. At coordinates x, y, z. Well, the condition for P to be in the plane should be that we have a right angle here. Okay. So P is in the plane whenever OP dot n is 0. And if we write that explicitly, well, vector op has components x, y, z, and has components 1, 5, 10. So that will give us x plus 5y plus 10z equals 0. Okay, that's the equation of our plane. 